After the closure of Uganda's oldest institution of higher learning, Macquarie University on Wednesday this week, over the lecturer strike, President Shiri Museven spoke tough on the matter, advising the lecturers to go and rear goats. To the president, focus for government is on the critical issues highlighted in the 2013-2014 national budget, not the lecturers 100% appear rise. But this has not gone well with the lecturers who hit back to President Museven, urging that there is no problem with one rearing goats since they can earn more money from it. Our issue has been politicized. I should like to say that not all of us, not all of us have got to become politicians before we can be listened to. We have to correct this mistake. And no one should paint us dark, brown, or any other color they may so wish. But all we need is to look at issues in the country and we mention them outright to those concerned. The lecturers scoffed at the Minister for Education and Sports for failing to negotiate talks between them and the University Council as well as other concerned authorities. The Honourable Minister in charge of education is working out modalities of establishing a university in Keso, her own. And we've learned that she's talking to our staff. The moment she breaks our staff, those who've had some who can talk, she's engineering that so that here the talks can break and she gets staff in her university, which she's trying to create. Former Vice-Chancellor Professor Venancius Badiamreba also came under attack from the lecturers, whom he accused of being redundant. Mwasa says Badiamreba should back off matters concerning Macquarie and instead concentrate on university, saying the former Vice-Chancellor still has graduate Mwasa members for throwing him out. We have people within the university system who don't do what they are required of. Like you find a PhD holder, who is not supervising any student, is not doing any research, and is just there, and is a PhD holder. We know how injured this university financially is because of Baramoreba's dark designs. We know how misappropriation took place under him. For three years, we accumulated debts. For three years, we are published in the press. We were not number four. In an apparent move to solve the impasse, the staff says they are ready for negotiations with any party to find an everlasting solution to the problem, but not to be pushed and incited. Sibley May Andrew, WBS-TV, Macquarie University.